Greetings fellow cooks, uh, Marcelino Berni from uh, Dr. Flavor. Today we're going to be grilling and you're going to absolutely love what we're going to do. We're going to have grilled vegetables on this uh, grill wok. It's absolutely fantastic. You're going to love it. We're going to have some sauteed uh, mushrooms and we're going to have some nice grilled steaks. So I think you're going to enjoy this one. And it's going to be right here on Dr. Flavor. So the uh, grilled vegetables are going to be as follows. A nice big uh, sweet onion, some zucchini, uh, a variety of uh, red peppers, green peppers and yellow peppers. We're going to have some mushrooms on it and it's going to be it's spiced uh, perfectly well with uh, my favorites, chili powder, sazon completo from Badillas, black pepper. We're going to have balsamic vinegar and uh, olive oil and you're going to figure out what we're going to do with this guy right here. Okay, so uh, this is what we have so far. The onions cut, not fine, but uh, in little pieces. Some of the peppers uh, sorted out like this. Uh, we have the, uh, the mushrooms uh, right here. Now, the next thing is going to be the zucchini. We don't want to get the zucchini that's really big because they have lots of seeds and we can't handle this. So we, we basically want smaller zucchinis like this. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit, eh, you would consider a little bit decorative. And that is we're going to take a fork and we're going to strip the sides of the zucchini and what it what that does is it gives crevices it creates crevices that we're going to be able to actually adhere some of the spices onto so as you can see if we cut it like this this is the kind of texture that you're going to have okay so that's where we're going to slice it up we're going to put it all in there and, we're, and then we're going to have the flavor. Okay, so let's get going. As you see, everything is diced up for the grill. All right, number one, we start with a little bit of salt. Okay, again, not too much salt, just a little bit of salt. And the reason why is because Sazon Completo has plenty of salt in it. So we're going to shake up some salt, some, uh, I'm sorry, some sazon completo or complete seasoning from Badillas. And we're just gonna dust it all up on top. Okay. We're gonna have some black pepper because when you, when you grill, a little bit of black pepper is always very nice. I like chili powder. Chili powder uh, actually uh, as you say as you know it has some cumin, it has uh, paprika in there, it has different spices and it just adds a lot of flavor. So we did those. So now we're going to put some olive oil Guys, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to do the same for nice balsamic vinegar. All right. Now we're going to go do something that's perhaps a little bit more 
unconventional. And that is, we're going to add some cornstarch. Why am I adding cornstarch? I'll tell you why. Because we're going to mix it up with the liquids. You know, as you, as you know, the little crevices over here holds on to a lot of the, uh, the spices. And when we actually mix it up and we put it on the grill and add heat, the cornstarch itself is going to become gummy and it's going to adhere to the different components a lot better. So that is why I put a little bit of cornstarch in here. So there's a little bit of uh, reason for my madness now, isn't there? Oh my gosh. And this is already starting to smell really nice. So the uh, everything is starting to separate. The onions are starting to separate. You see all the different colors, which are absolutely yummy. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the grill. We're going to go to the grill. We're going to start preheating the grill wok. And we're going to add everybody in. Okay, so uh, the, the grill is pretty hot right now because it is hot outside right now. So I have it at full blast right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I've mixed this up really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it to, to low. I'm going to lower to low, and then I'm just going to pour this in. All right, so I started pretty hot, and so we're almost getting like a sear on the bottom. Okay, so we're going to cover this up right now. Leave it for about five minutes, and we're going to start turning every five minutes. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. Let's check it out. You can hear it sizzling. What we're going to do is just simply stir bottom from the sides to the middle, sides to the middle. All right. Side to the middle. All right, and we're going to do this every 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 several minutes until we're done. Okay, so now we're going to start making the gravy for the steaks. As you know, we're going to be grilling. And if you're grilling, it's hard to actually make gravy if you're losing all the juices uh, uh, on the grill itself. So we're going to improvise a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil on the pan. Okay. About two tablespoons. All right. We're going to add about a container of uh, mushrooms that we have. And we're just going to be heating it gently at about a medium, okay, and we're going to let some of the, the fluids escape. So we're going to 
be patient with this, okay? We're getting there. Okay, so as you can see now, the mushrooms have a nice little brown on them. A little bit of pepper. You like uh, the fancy little containers that my wife got me? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some golf base. A teaspoon. A nice big one. Maybe, maybe two. Alright. And I'm going to add afterwards a little bit of water. But I'm just going to stir this up first. Get it all mixed up with the uh, mushrooms and a little bit of the oil that's in there. Okay. Oh yeah. As you can imagine, we're, uh, we're making like a little roux. Because again, we're grilling the steaks. If we're not frying the steaks, the steaks we can't make um, the gravy from the drippings. All right, so let's add a little bit of water. Let's say a third of a cup. dry up a little bit. This is not uh, this is not the end of the party here. Okay, so now that the fluids have dried off a little bit, dried up a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a teaspoon of flour in there. And we're going to stir this up. So now we're going to add another third of a cup of water. And this time we're going to start making the gravy. So as you can see now, the mushroom gravy has got really great character. We, want, we have the thickness that we want. We're going to taste this and see where we're at. Oh yeah. Perfect. So we're going to this point, leave this, and we're going to work on the others. 
Okay, so now uh, in a few minutes uh, the steaks are going to go onto the grill. One of the things that you notice is that these steaks have been dry brining uh, using uh, Dr. Bruce Anderson's uh, technique, Dr. Bruce Anderson, aka um, farm cook. So, and you know, there's nothing like a nice ribeye. Okay, so remember, every five minutes, uh, I did have a problem because I turned it low and uh, my fire went out. I knew there was a problem because it wasn't sizzling. So, I had to turn it on again and uh, put it on uh, medium heat. So what do you think about these? I think right now we're done. So now we're prepping. We got it on medium heat. We're going to rub off some of the stuff. I'm going to spray a little bit of yum. And we're going to wipe this off a little bit. So we're pretty much ready for the steaks at this point. I got this on medium heat and uh, we're going to let it sit there for about three minutes. And we're going to come back and see what we have. Okay, a few minutes. Nice. So we're going to have at this point, flip it around to get a, some nice little grill marks. And leave that for another three minutes. Okay, let's check this out. Very nice. Now we're gonna leave that for one minute on that side. Let's turn. Turn. One minute. Okay, so we're done. Plated. This is uh, the uh, grilled uh, veggies with uh, a, a nice uh, ribeye steak uh, grilled and uh, mushroom gravy on top. And uh, now we're ready for our meal. So now we're going to sample the food. Look at this. This is medium rare steak. Obviously, my wife and I enjoy a nice medium rare steak. The grilled uh, veggies, nice and creamy. Okay, fellow cooks, uh, for a, a spring and summer, actually any time, meal, uh, grilled, the steak and the grilled uh, vegetables, it's a fantastic combination. So I want you to try it. It's really good. And uh, you will be uh, very pleased with that. So on that note, uh, it, once again, folks, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe share and hit like 
And uh, once again, uh, I will see you on the next one. This is Marcelino Bernie, your Dr. Flavor, signing off. <laughs>